Hello guys, today we are here at the Utah Hogo Zoo and the reason I'm here is because I want to test the new Sony A9 firmware 6.0 which now includes Animal IAF. So I want to see what works and what doesn't. I'm expecting bears and big cats to work but I want to see other smaller animals too, birds, things like that and see if it works too. So let's get this going. <music> So unfortunately, I just found out that the elephant it does not work with the IAF. So let's move to the next animal. Okay, so just finished testing the rhino and as expected, it did not work. Although sometimes it tries to focus on something and it may grab the eye or may grab an ear just randomly detects something as the eye but for the most part not working i'm doing a voiceover on this one because it was really noisy with kids around me so and the noise from the water they were cleaning so anyways it didn't work with the seals i never got a really really good shot of them looking forward but still from my test no go so we have the polar bear and surprisingly, or not surprisingly, it depends who you ask, it worked really great with the bear. It grabbed the eye uh, far away, it kept with it as it was moving around. So I'm very happy that it, this one results uh, in a success story. Uh, it's not quite as good as human uh, AAF, but it's still great. I suspected. The grizzly bear works just like the polar bear did. Again, it's not like human IAF where it works really quick all the time, but it works. So, one more. Let's move to the next. Well, the tiger is sleeping. I can't even see the whole face. So, I guess I won't be testing the tiger today. For the next time, when I compare this to the A7R 3 Well, I can really test the owl because the cage has such tiny uh, holes there and I can get close enough. But at least pointing at the picture, it worked really good. So I guess that is a good or maybe? I don't know. I'll take it. Let's go to the next. Okay, that is a no on the ostrich. It tracks the head nice, but it doesn't find the eye. I wasn't expecting it, but it was worth trying. So let's see what's next. Well, I couldn't confirm the gorillas because I was able to get it first when they were in the shadows turning to me, but after that, the, one of them went on the sun, but it seems like the sunlight, because it creates such harsh, deep black shadows on the eyes, like the raccoon eyes, the camera just doesn't pick it up. So I couldn't get more eyes in focus. So the gorilla is up in the air. I expect it to work with good light, but not so easy. Well, not big surprise, the turtle didn't work. Not the real one, not the picture one either, so let's see other small creatures. Well, surprise, this one actually worked. It's a copy Hyrax, that's, the thing. that's what it says there. I'll show you the sign, but yeah, that one actually worked. So one more, let's keep going. So snakes are a no-go. I didn't work with any snakes so far, and I didn't work with the crocodile either. So not that I was expecting much, but you know, it's worth trying. So. Next. And this tiny bird did not work either. I tried different angles when it was looking towards the camera, but unfortunately, it didn't work. And these tiny monkeys, uh, I don't remember the names, didn't work either. I played a lot with it because I was expecting it to work, but no matter what I tried, 
it never picked up the eyes on this one. So unfortunately, I have to mark this one as no go. And unsurprisingly, the big cats work just fine. I was lucky enough to find one that was awake and eventually started looking at me and it grabbed the eye perfectly. He just kept with it, even though, well, he wasn't moving much, but I was moving the camera around just trying to fool it and it worked great. So count this one. No IF for giraffe. You didn't expect it, and it didn't happen. Trying different things, it didn't work. See if I can show this, but the meerkat is a success. Let's see when it turns to us, we'll be able to see. Eventually. I'm just taking it. Don't understand. Come on. Come on. See, you get that. Well, I went to the ear, but yeah. Anyways, guys, so uh, this concludes the quick test that I did. I also did a few, a few shots of bird flying. I wanted to test my A9 uh, for the first time with some action shots. This is with the uh, chip 50 millimeter 1.8 and the tracking worked great on that tiny chip lens. Uh, I did a few shots also. This is an 85 1.4 Sigma wide open. And the next shot you're gonna see is also with the Sigma wide open when it uh, the bear was flying towards me. So very impressed with the A9, loving that camera. But in any case, regarding the firmware, the 4i AF for animals, I'm happy that it works with more animals than I would expect, which is usually just dogs and cats. Um, it's not perfect. Like I had the issue when I was trying to do the rhino where it started picking up eyes in rocks for no reason. There's nothing on the rock that looked like an eye to me. So there's still work to be done. But uh, in some animals, it just works great. And, and that's impressive that we're getting such uh, features for free now. Um, this is by no means to be the Bible of reference for Animal IAF on the Sony A9. So please take it as it is, a quick test that I did at the zoo. Nothing more than that. So anyways, let me know, guys, your stories. Share with me what you have tried. Uh, if you think something that worked for you that didn't work for me, let me know as well in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you.